had the video shut off, but what I was talking about was the <clears throat> how low the root systems are, so it takes the whole carpeting off. Um, I have video from down at uh, Makuu at the cliffs after Hurricane Izel came in two years ago. Uh, it knocked out the uh, Albizia trees, and the Albizias grow like every other tree here with a uh, shallow root ball, but it spreads out. And it took the whole carpeting around the tree off. And um, it basically pulled it up. So you had like at least a 10 foot tall uh, root system when it was laying down on the ground. And it looked like indoor outdoor carpeting and it exposed the lava because it took all the grass and the fauna around it in the root system. And that's what this does. Um, <clears throat> Because it's really hard for the, the tree, the roots, to get into that lava, especially when it hits the blue rock. And uh, it does make do, though. It'll go around the cracks in the lava. As uh, Later on, um, after we expose some more land this, this month, we'll actually see a, a lava crevice. And um, we'll, um, we'll show you how the roots actually, for a tree, grow into the lava cracks and tubes. But this is uh, all part of, <clears throat> excuse me, clearing the, la the land off so we can put our garden and our greenhouse and our swimming pool water catchment. And it's just, you're fighting back the forest little by little, um, retaining uh, a lot of it, but um, jungle, forest, it's the same thing. Uh, that's my son being uh, corrective and buttholeish. Um, but um, it's all part of, you know, working the land up here. And this is why we're in Hawaii, because uh, we're going to go back to uh, our very basic needs and uh, leave the material world behind. But that's what, that's what we're doing here um, on this Saturday. Just getting, uh, getting some land cleared. And uh, we've done pretty good so far. Anyway... I'll keep posting videos. Until then, compassion, love, you know the rest. Shoots.